Hello everyone, welcome to Admitat Academy. That's me again, Ekaterina Vasina. I'm Content Marketing Manager of the Academy. Today we are going to examine how we can make changes in the settings in our personal account in order to make a work with Admitat even more convenient. I'm going to show everything on our test account which we use for the webinars and video recordings. First of all, you need to open the main website of Admitat, admitat.com, then you will need to log in in your personal account. Let's do it. Okay, here we are on admitat.com, we need to log in. Let's press the button. Here we type in our login. Here it is, webinars, then our password. Okay, and here we go. We are on the main page of our personal account. Here you will see the reports where you can see all the clicks and the actions. But as we want to make changes, we need to press the gear in the, in the top corner of our web. Of the page. Okay, now you can see the common settings. Here you can change information in many fields, for example, your name, your email, and so on. But note that in order to make some changes, you will need to insert the password to your personal account once again. Okay, and one more important thing is that here you can add your mobile phone and you will need it, for example, to withdraw money when you have your reward. Make sure that you insert the real mobile phone because you will receive the confirmation code and you will need to insert it. Okay, let's move on. Our next tab is Add Spaces. Here you can find the information regarding all your ad spaces, for example, the status. You can also find the information on different statuses, for example, in moderation, and active, and so on. And here you can also edit your ad space or delete it. And create the new one. Let's do it. Press the button create an ad space. Here you need to fill out all the fields once again the ad space type and so on and then you need to press add but we're not going to do it now let's move on it's email notifications here you can choose which newsletters you want to receive for example you want to receive the basic system messages you can press and then you need to save changes or on the contrary you want to unsubscribe from some newsletters which you don't want to receive anymore you need to select what you don't want to receive and again save changes okay let's move on and the next step is payment information when you earn some reward you can withdraw it and for that you need a payment method Okay, make sure that you fill out all the fields because other way you, the payment will be declined. The first one is name. You need to make up some name of the payment method. For example, it's web money. Okay. Then you need to choose country, let it be Canada. Perfect. Then you need to choose the city, for example, Toronto. Of course, we are using the not, not real information, but you need to indicate the real and trustworthy one. Then address, it can be Blue Street. Zip code, the real one. Here also, we are choosing anything we want, but you need to uh, type in the real one. Then business entity, we are choosing individual. Then your name, my name is Yekaterina. Last name is Vasina. And then you need to, to choose tax office. Let it be example. It's, it's just an example for us. Then you need to indicate tax number. It's really important if you skip this field, the payment will be declined. If you don't know your tax number or you simply don't have it, you can upload a scanned copy of your document, for example, of the passport. Then you need to choose the payment method, web money as we named our payment, uh, account currency, USD or anything else, and then the, the number of your wallet. Okay, now we are not going to create one, so we press cancel, but you need to press create. And we're moving on to the next step, it's guest accounts. 
Okay, this step you will need if you want to add some guests to your account in order to manage it all together. For example, you want to give an access uh, to your employee or to your assistant. Here how you can do it. You need to press on add an account. Then you need to type in all the information, the name of the guest, anyone then the last name, then the position of the employee and the email. You need to insert the real email because the guest will receive the newsletter with the, with the activation link. Then you can choose the tabs and the sections which the guest will have access to. For example, you can select all and then you will press invite the guest. Okay, let's move on. And the next step will be useful for those publishers who want to authorize the apps that uh, you use when working with Admitat IP. That's all regarding the settings. If we haven't answered any of your questions, you can press on support and ask our support team some question. You need to add new ticket and then ask it. Also, you can ask any questions in uh, the comments below this video. That's all for now. Subscribe to our channel. We will produce many more different useful videos. Thank you for your attention. Bye-bye.